Good morning. It's me, Lori Simon. Happy Monday. I hope you enjoyed your day yesterday, the first day of spring. I know I did. I went out to my daughter's and I went out to a waterfall. I set some intentions, one thing to get rid of and one thing I wish to happen. And I put them in an envelope and hopefully somebody did it with me. But like I said, happy Monday. Let's get to this card pool, this video, my coffee. I'm trying a different angle. Like I said, I'm really new, so to whole YouTube video making and sharing myself. It's definitely um, exciting, exhilarating, nerve wracking, but I'm going forward trying to find my true purpose in this life, my authentic self, as we rise up, right? Hopefully you're, somebody's taking this journey with me. I guess I don't have to say hopefully, I know somebody is. Several people, whether they realize it or not. Anyway, like I said, it's a new angle. Hopefully this video comes out okay. Hopefully, I'm not sure. We'll see. And my light over there in the corner, and I know it's just shining, like, really bright. So hopefully it doesn't interfere with the card pulls. And my face. Work in progress. We'll see. It's going to be a really good week, though. I can feel it. Everything's just going to start coming to fruition for us. All of it, all of ideas, the creativity over the winter. Everything was just laying inside of us waiting to come out. It's going to be awesome. It's the way I'm looking at it. It's going to be awesome. Well, let's see. What do we get today? Well, we're definitely doing that. Take a step. We are definitely taking a step. We started it yesterday. We are going to continue every day. We are going to go on faith. And we know that the angels are watching us. It's okay. Um, we're just going to take that leap of faith. We are definitely going to get into action. We are going to call the spirit to us. Right? That divine spirit that lives within all of us. We're going to call our angels down to help it just burst into flames and just give us all the creativity we need, all the desire, all the motivation, all the answers, everything is just going to come to us and we are going to take that step. We are going to do action. We are. That's going to be our mindset for the day. Well, I hope so. We got another card to pull. We're going to take a step. We are going to trust the universe. Another mandala right here. She's definitely with us, but it's okay. The divine, let's get to the next card. I'm probably gonna stop using this book before you know it, but I will start, um, or I will continue to read the descriptions and also give you some personal insight. <laughs> yeah, I know, everybody keeps telling me the same thing. I should take the card that pops out, right, every now and then because it's the spirit trying to tell me something. So we'll keep that one out, okay? But I'm not keeping all of those. We got like umpteen million cards here. <laughs> spirit, they just drop my whole deck and we'll just read the whole thing. All right, it is illumination. Okay, just remember, it's illumination. I'm going to put it back in, and we'll go over illumination, too. <laughs> isolation. I'm not going back into isolation. Me and my heart, we're staying where we are. We're moving forward. No more shriveling away. Oh, no more turning away. Pink Floyd. Good song. But yes, there will be no more turning away from our true purpose. 
our authentic self, why we're here, the divine within us. We're just not doing it anymore. We are going all the way forward. If we get nervous, if we get scared, if we have self-doubts, we're gonna talk to someone and come here and talk to me, message me. You know, I have my Facebook group, Simon's Place for Healing and Guidance. Come there. It's a safe space. There will be no judgment. There will be no anything. It's just something I wish to do to help people to find their way in this world. Because sometimes this world can be hard. Lord knows I know. <laughs> I've been through enough in my life. I don't need to really be through any more bad. If it comes, I'll deal with it. I'll find the positive. But I just want life to be good for us. I want to raise my awareness, raise my vibration, elevate myself, continue being good and helping others where I can. Illumination, sacrifice, we know, I do, they're talking to me, I guess, since I've been doing these card pulls for the collective, right? For all of us. Every now and then, more jumping out at me. Maybe they're trying to tell me I need to go back to some individualized readings for myself. Maybe I'm missing something along the way, right? Maybe. I'll go back to doing some personal readings to make sure I'm being guided appropriately with the collective. I can't imagine I'm not. But there might be something coming through personally for me like I did for Galvanized Awakening. Her reading will be in her email today. Um, it's real important. You know, we are all on this journey together and we can take steps together, but sometimes there is a need for a personal reading in order, you know, to really know that you're on the right path, you're making the right steps, what may or may not be coming, or the challenges involved. And then sometimes those take a very personal reading. And, you know, I'd be glad to do that for you. You know, I could give a very involved reading. Um, we'll talk about it, we'll see. I mean, I definitely can if there's an interest. I can definitely guide you on your path to reconnecting, connecting to the universe, to the divine, to Mother Nature, your angels, whatever it is that you, you know that you're lacking or you're feeling low confidence in. I can help build that up, and we can pull cards specific for your questions. I have lots of tarot decks. And we can choose ones according to what you feel you want to use, and we can just shuffle and go for it. You all you can do is let me know. You can let me know in the comments. Um, if you like my video, please hit like and subscribe. I'm really trying to grow this. It's been a couple weeks. Um, so far, so good. I'm feeling pretty good. I, you know, that whole Facebook Live, ooh. That one was a bit trying, but I made it through. And I actually think I'm gonna go live every night on Facebook to follow up to card pulls or just talk to see if anybody has anything going on. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna start doing in a way to truly integrate the two. All right, let's get to a pull. See what we can do today. Right. We'll see. Sometimes I think I'm walking in a fog. Not enough coffee yet during the day. Really? This one? That quick? Okay. 
Well, I guess maybe the spirit's trying to tell me something. Look what we got. Illumination. Not only did it pop out, but I drew it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we are going to shed light on all of our desires, our intentions, our goals, things that we wish to change. Illumination. It's so bad. All I got going through my mind right now is Harry Chapin, Taxi, the song, right? How he's in his taxi and getting stoned and there's a wizard illuminating his mind. That's me. <laughs> um, illumination. Everything definitely is coming clearer. Earth, just all of it. Oh, she knows. You know exactly what you have to do. All right, let's read her. Oh, fire card. Just holy cow, I don't... It's a beginning. Let's go. I will find a way to get these cards closer. I'm taking that input that was given to me. And I will. I will bring it in closer. I will... I will work on it. I will have these cards to where you can actually see it, the fine detail in them. But let's go ahead and read. Ace of Fire Illumination. The Dakini Kundalini Mama of Illumination brings the light of consciousness to all aspects of being. Boy, I sure hope I pronounced all that right. I may have, I may not have. If I destroyed it, I do apologize. I'm trying and I'm learning. Um, that was to my guides, not to you. Um, burning through all illusion, she illuminates all that lies hidden in the human psyche of darkness and light. And that true essence of divinity may be shown and realized. This fire goddess blazes into your world now as the breakthrough needed, letting spirit light the way to your heavenly wisdom. Yeah, I'm going to start crying through this reading. <laughs> Holy cow, we need this. Uh, like to your heavenly wisdom, let her guide you. Know that the light of clarity and illumination that you seek is coming to you like a thunderbolt. The time has come for you to move forward in your life with new brilliant consciousness and creative power. That's what we're going to do. And yeah, I'm crying. I know. And I'll share a little bit as to why I, I started this journey again a few weeks ago, not very long ago. And I stayed very close with my heart to myself, to the earth to the divine, to the spirit, to the collect, I don't care how you put it, I stayed with them, with the fairies, within the ethereal realm. That's where I wanted to be. I didn't want to be in this world. I wanted to be with my father. I wanted to be, oh, with the divine. I just didn't want to. My heart was so broke. And I just, I isolated it, I shut it off. You know that song, um, I am a rock, right? And a rock feels no pain and an island never cries. Well, I was trying not to feel my pain, but when I got COVID, my guides, my angels, my father, they just reached out from heaven and helped me. And two months, 24 hours a day. I know that they're with me all the time. But when I had COVID, I prayed and lit so many candles and did so many things because I didn't want to die. And they stayed with me. And as a form of repayment, though I know I don't have to, I'm not shying away this time. I'm not backing up. I'm not going to put away who I am. They love me. They saved me for a reason. There is something I need to do in this world. And if this is it, then so be it. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. So 
trying to say I'm sorry. But I'm not going to, because I'm not. I'm sorry to the universe for hiding myself. But as that intention that I set yesterday, I am not. I am not going to apologize. Um, I haven't done anything wrong. I am a good person. You are a good person. We are good people. We don't need to apologize for being who we are. If we hurt someone, if we are derogatory or demeaning to someone, yes, we need to apologize. But when we're coming from our true center, this, this heart right here, the solar plexus region, if we're just letting the love come out and emit from us, we don't have to apologize for that. We need to embrace it and just give it out to the entire world so that the hatred and the anger and all the bad starts to go away. Holy cow. Yeah, crying again. I'm feeling it today. I don't know if something happened last night, something happened this morning in the world because I don't really watch the news. As an empath, I can't take watching the news. Uh, my heart just starts breaking completely and I need to remain okay so that I can help others. So if something bad in the world happened, I hope we're all lifting it up um, so that it gets corrected. Um, I love you guys. Thanks for watching if you watch and thanks for letting me share my tears with you. We're going to take a step. And illumination, yeah. Our steps are definitely lit. And we, you know, they're just showing us everything we need. We're not stopping. We're going all the way forward, guys. I'll talk to you later. Love and light.